بارا پیکر ما میگونه که اشتکای ما نیست دادم میدانی اشتکای ما گم شده در مرز ایران زد دا احساس کم شده مور پلار مور می رون خور می چیری دی نپورم چیری دی مپلارم نپورم چیری دی In late 2015, after heavy fighting erupted in his province, Saeed fled Afghanistan with his wife, five daughters and two sons, including nine-year-old Wali Khan. After traveling through Iran, the family made it to the border with Turkey. <laughs> یکم کم باران نکم گیرید باران بود دیدیم که یه برام که یک پوسته بود دیدید برام یک پوسته بود جای کلان بود کوهای بود باز دیگه دیدیم که این مشتکای من در سر اسب سوار بود همین صدای اسب سرش نوید که چی بالا یک دفعه سر من تر اندازه شد میدانی دیدیم که برادر When Wali Khan and his father emerged from the chaos there was no sign of his mother or his six siblings Saeed and Wali Khan crossed the Mediterranean in an inflatable boat. They walked across Europe, spent six months in the Calais jungle, and finally made it to the UK in the back of a lorry. <laughs> Saeed and Wali Khan were sent to Derby to await the outcome of their asylum claim. It's very sad they're leaving war-torn countries, persecution, they need somewhere to go. Nobody leaves their country because um, they are safe and they are uh, doing good there. They come here for some reason. You know what I mean? Wali Khan spends weekdays at school, while his father spends most of his time alone. Yo, Saba, Wali. Saeed is helped by volunteer Philip, who is taking him to upbeat communities, a charity that, amongst other things, offers free English classes to asylum seekers. Morning. How are you? What's your name? Saeed. Saeed. Welcome. Yes. Have a seat. Shall I show you here? Let me show you. I um, was a teacher before, teaching in schools, uh, but there was a, a great need in this area for people uh, arriving in the country who didn't, couldn't integrate, couldn't get involved with life here because they didn't have the English skills. And so um, I just did some retraining um, and, and adapted my skills to be able to teach adults uh, how to approach the English language. Can you see what this picture is? Yeah. Okay, so we will leave that now. Uh, when you get families coming to live here, you, you, you often um, see a real difference between what the adults and the children can access because very quickly the children will get into a school and there are various um, support um, systems for them to learn English. And then even just once they're in school, mainstream school, children just pick up language that much quicker, whereas their parents often pick it up more slowly. They can't access as much uh, in the way of lessons. Children will have a whole week's worth of, of English. They're immersed in it. And, um, and that then creates odd tensions where you get the children picking up English very quickly, the parents picking up more slowly. 54, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 59. No, 49. The doctor some. Doctor, but doctor, um, so results, doctor, they're all. Saeed 
ويراتيو ولو بلاس دكانتا ودا دغرات وصابون بويرش صابون صابون راتو دا شيرا ترى وزبس لالم foreigners well some of them should be some of them shouldn't the ones that are willing to work in that should be all right but the ones that are just sponging off the benefits and sending it back to their country to build the big houses or whatever they do they shouldn't be here Saeed is also helped by his friend Aslam, a local Afghan shop owner. Whenever he's got any letter or any concerns about something, so he comes here to me and we translate. Yeah. Aslam and Philip are helping Saeed set up his Aspen card supplied by the government that gives Saeed and Wali Khan an allowance of £37 each a week. Asylum seekers are not permitted to work in the UK. <laughs> Philip takes Saeed out for lunch. He may have promising news. The Red Cross runs a family tracing program that could help Saeed find his wife and the rest of his children. Saeed and Wali Khan arrived with no luggage, no identification, and no photographs of their family. Just days before the broadcast of this film, Philip was helping Saeed to translate his mail when he came across a letter from the Home Office rejecting Saeed and Wali Khan's claim for asylum in the UK. The Guardian will follow Saeed and Wali Khan's case as a part of our new arrivals project, an 18-month commitment to witness the treatment of refugees and asylum seekers in the UK 